Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to next Industry 5.0 keynote speech. This time we will look at the position of steel industry in the age of Industry 5.0. My name is Mike Rada. I am human and I am the founder of Industry 5.0. Before we start, a little bit background. Industry 5.0 is based on the principles of industrial upcycling, which is the first systematic waste prevention methodology applicable for industries. Both together has prevented over 1 million metric tons of products and material to become waste and are based on systematic utilization of underground mines. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man and it recognized four types of waste physical social urban and process waste and what about steel industry steel industry steel generally is the alloy with percentage of carbon to improve the, fer uh, the features what is interesting that it's rated as a low cost material and is utilized because of that in many industries. Generally, it's again interesting that in original iron ore, there is more carbon than it is needed and it has to be reprocessed. 96% it's so-called continuously cast and 4% and in uh, ingots. And I have found that 1574 in Prague, so in the capital of Czech, Czech Republic or Czechia, there was a cementation process described in Prague for the first time in the world and then used in Nuremberg, Germany. What is interesting that in 20th century, the volume of steel produce increased from 28 million tons into 781 million tons per year which is really a huge increase and how does look the waste industry and what, or what is the relationship between steel industry and the waste industry it's very close one because firstly you have to mine and there is a lot of obsolete material and a lot of waste so 87 million tons are expected by 2022 we are speaking about slug, dust, sludge, mill scale. Even the discarded refractories are being treated as waste. And of course, there are many closed steel facilities. I started my own business career in one of those. There is a lot of waste in trans during the transportation and storage. So as at the end of life processing, because despite the fact that it's said that 100% of the steel can be recycled, just a drop of it, it's being truly recycled. What is the reality? All these barrels are filled with zinc alloys, so it's not steel, but it's metal. And this producer throw away 80% of the raw material. 80%. He does it in the same world where the water volume, which is in this fire truck, is needed to produce just one hamburger in its life cycle. 347 million liters of drinking water is being spoiled and poisoned by oil industry only in California in a one single day. It is the same world in which this image is a reality. And it is the, in the same world where the World Bank says that the volume of waste will grow forever in every destination. And it is the same world where factories, the bag behind the factories look like this. Or like this. Or like this. All this is waste because it's no more needed by the factories. And you know what? All this happened in place where even the new cars are being stored in a graveyard of new cars. And 
it happened on this planet. It's called the Earth. And once we called it blue marble, but last year it was not blue anymore. It was gray because of the environmental damage. It is on the same planet around which we created a global landfill with more than 170 million pieces of space debris, smaller than 10 centimeters, plus 750,000 10 to 30 centimeters and 80,000 above 30 centimeters. It is the same planet in which, into which we dig inside to get more. The only criteria of success is more, no matter what. And it is the same planet on which currently we live together with 7.7 .7 billion people. Despite the fact that 200 years ago it was just 1 million and 100 years later it was just 1.5. And despite two world wars and more than 650 war conflicts all around the globe, we have five times more people living on the planet than 100 years ago. And in 2050, it should be 11 billion people. And just now look at the pictures at the background. We built our future on the top of a pyramid. It's called a waste pyramid. 3R, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's a lie introduced by waste industry. I have recognized seven years ago that we cannot build a future on the top of a pyramid. Many tries before, but nobody, no one succeeded ever. So I created another ground stone, a ground stone which is stable. Firstly, we have to recognize that something must not become waste. Then we have to reconsider what to do with it. And finally, we have to realize that and if we succeed, there is no need to reduce, reuse, recycle anymore. What is the value of waste prevention? It's much more higher than the value of the third most profitable industry in the world, the waste industry. The value of global waste prevention was estimated to 475 trillion US dollar per year. And it is possible to reduce up to 60% of the cost related to waste management in steel industry. So you can save easily 7 million US dollar a year, which is not a small number at all. How does the steel industry will look like in the age of Industry 5.0? It will change the flow of material, the sourcing. First will be the underground mines. Second will be the raw material. It will be systematic identification and localization of underground mines. This is completely missing. It will be produced on demand. And please understand, even the steel industry and the production will change don't forget the 3D printing, which is currently even used with the steel, dust or another type of processing. It will be implemented the product life cycle management, full management, not just I sell and I don't care. And it will be co-created and let the production surplus market and share the production direct or indirect will be a normal stage. This is a device developed in a factory, steel factory, in which I worked first after ending my school. It's called so-called polyhammer and it's used to find out directly on the Gemba how, how hard the material is. This is the place where I started my business career. 30 years ago. We have to go from wasteful to wasteless because education must grow humans, not components. And the main tool of a human is creativity and openness and efficient communication as well. We shouldn't waste our time asking five times wise when we can ask one and single time the right question and Please, to understand, be different. It's not a shame. 
and anyone can change the world with the work of, with his, of his hands or of her hands and mine. And we have to be proud of one and only title, the human. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man. Its new mindset of people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless and it's delivering the result without the need of capital investment. It's based on the principles of industrial upcycling, utilizing the underground mines and it, it's every single project. It's based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency and please do understand Industry 5.0 is not a sales tool or a product. It's completely new global environment. We are living at the age of digitalization of our work. We are living in the year of digitalization of our education. And we are living in a time of digitalization of our leisure time. So it seems like there is only one point missing to have the complete picture and this is to digitalize the man but if we do so our world will look like this because data don't need light seven years ago i have recognized this danger and i have decided to build up the wasteless world and my world look like this and please understand it is possible because in seven years i have prevented more than one million metric tons of products and material to become waste and everyone can do the same and if you struggle on your way please get in touch with me if you want to implement it in your factory contact me or contact 3R0 waste for India we will help you I would like to thank you for your time and I wish you have a nice time free of waste and wasting in all its forms. And please stay safe. Thank you.